Hello again and welcome back to Painter's Block. I'm your host, Anthony Ryden. Please like and subscribe, follow us on YouTube, Reddit, and Instagram. We now have a Facebook as well. We are followed by uh, our same name, Painter's Block, so just look us up and we'll be right there. I'll put a link down below as well, so uh, we should be finding it easier. Now we will be releasing the Mega Gargan. Today's episode will be a tutorial and an instruction manual uh, for people who might have lost theirs. I find a lot of time that when I buy uh, online uh, models, a lot of times they won't come with the instruction manual, that's why they'll be cheaper. So this will be an easy way for people to have an instruction manual for this piece. Uh, I'll be working on a shipwreck or gargant eventually, but first we'll be doing the first part of the build, which is for every gargant. Now that will be sheet A. And this will be sheet B. This is going to be sheet C, which is going to be the only sheet we're going to be working on in this part of the project. And this is sheet D. Now you're wondering probably why are we going through and showing you sheet E and all the other sheets. And that's just because it's uh, easier to deal with building if you have it all organized like that and knowing which one it's going to um, come from. It's, I wish I had this when I was building, so I hope this helps you. Now here you can see that we have my clippers. I have the Citadel ones, which are pretty nice, um, but honestly the ones previous to that one are probably a little better. Uh, then I have some Loctite super glue. You can get that at Lowe's or any of your hardware stores. Uh, go to one of the grandpa or mama papa shops is better. Now a file, uh, definitely useful, but get a bigger one. Those ones from um, the Warhammer, it, they're not that great. And some adhesive rapid fuse putty. Uh, you can also get that at your local hardware store. Um, those are nice just to, if you have a piece that won't stick, there's always trouble pieces, that's helpful. And uh, any X-Acto knife, any blade, just to help chip off any pieces of plastic to just won't come off or eh, they're useful for lots of little things. Now let's crack this baby up. Now uh, you can see there's five different variants for this, which is so cool. And when we make our gargant, we're gonna have a lot of extra bits, which is gonna be really nice. Now, which one should we do? Now I know first we're going to do the uh, the main build that goes on every gargant, but I'm thinking shipwrecker gargant. I really like his ability to kick the objectives away, but of course. King Broad is super cool, so maybe I'll do a kit bash, I don't know. Throw it up in the air, but I think first I'm going to do the shipwrecker. Alright, let's go on to step one, and we're going to be using sheet C. So here's the whole step, we're going to get the legs and we're going to put it together. And uh, we're now looking at sheet C, the one piece for the first part is on this side, and the other part is right here, in case you don't want to look for it. Now you're going to grab your super glue and you're just going to open it up and you're going to apply nicely and gently to each of these little holes everywhere and oh, I like to put one in the hole and one in between each one just to get a nice uh, adhesion and you're going to see I'm not perfect at this so I put glue in parts that shouldn't be there so don't worry. Alright and there we go looking uh, pretty much like it's stuck. That glue is really nice because it will stick instantly, but be careful to get it on your hands. It will stick your fingers together. Now looking at this sheet, see, see again, there's your piece that we're going to cut out, or your two pieces, and then you're just going to do the same thing. You're going to grab your glue, you're going to apply it in the holes and in between, stick it together, and it should be pretty easy to snap together. Now. In between, you should be filing and cutting down some plastic, whatever is in the way. I will uh, get some footage of that, but I, I did not put it into this spot. Back to sheet C, we're going to grab the rest of the legs, and this is where you can find the first spot. And you're just going to go in, and I'm actually going to show you how I clip it. You're going to go in, find the flat part of your clipper and find the easiest access point. for. So for me, this is coming from the back end. And try to snip off to get as flat of a surface towards the model that you're working on 
as you can, and this will help you not have to do so much while you're filing. Well, now on to step two. Moving on to the loincloth, and the uh, loincloth for his ankles because he's just so dang big. Back to sheet C. Going back to our legs, we're just going to apply the glue to the back of his legs where the, uh, the loincloth is going to be applied. And just gently put it on, make sure it doesn't pull over too much. Really don't worry about it too much, you can always file it off, you can always prime it. Now when applying the one piece to the other and having the super glue on there, you're going to find these spots where it doesn't really connect. You're just going to kind of move it around until you eventually find that sweet spot and apply just enough pressure, squeeze it together because that's what's gonna make the super glue stick it together. And it, it should be pretty quick once you get that uh, little bit of pressure on there. There we go, his big butt's looking big already. Now one tip you can do is with these big guys that are hollow, when you just feel like there's not enough adhesion, you can go on the inside of the model and apply the glue there, and that will apply a thin layer of the, the glue to harden and keep it together, and you won't see it on the outside. Now we're going to get the other leg on there, so we're just going to apply that glue to the bottom of his uh, loincloth area, his hips, and then just apply that leg. The back leg's always sticking up on the gargants and the front leg's forward. They're all the, universally the same that way. So just remember the back leg's uh, on its toes and the front leg is forward and the actual stabilizer. On to step three, we're going to be getting the chest together. Now you can see here, we're going to grab these pieces off of sheet C. Now if you want, you can always pause the video here and you can look at what numbers they are, but otherwise you can look at this next spot. And we got our first piece here. And uh, after we clip that and the belly, we're going to glue the edges. connect it to his chest. Nice. Now grabbing that glue again, we're just going to apply it to the halfway section between the chest and the back. So here you're just going to find out which way is up, which way is down, and apply it to each side nice and evenly so it doesn't pull too much and uh, well just letting you know it will probably get on your fingers and that's gonna get annoying but uh, yeah you probably just have to get used to that or wear some gloves and there you go chest is together a little pressure and it's done sticking together already now we're gonna get the rest of the back and just apply the glue to his shoulder region and just get the rest ready it's just the last part of that step that we were just looking at. Should be pretty easy. Once again, just look at it ahead of time and make sure you know which way is up, which way is down to help you get that piece in. And sorry for being off the camera. There you go. Pretty good. Just grab your file and the head piece is going to be important, so just make sure that's nice and smooth, especially around the head, the focal point of attention. Now on to step four, last part of this Gargan build. Now we're just going to grab the top piece and the bottom piece that we just made, stick them together and grab the rest of our anklets. All right. Now just grab that super glue again and 
cleanly and gently put it up all around and make sure not to pull towards the outside if anything pull towards the inside grab that top piece that's all dry and should go on there pretty easily there you have it stuck already that super glue is amazing Now there's going to be little tabs to show you where these go. They're little squares cut into it that don't look like they fit. They they piece together. And uh, yeah, they won't. The pieces don't really fit together too well. So you're just going to try to wiggle it in there as much as you can. Get that glue and just try to fit it together to not look as poopy as you can. Because honestly, those pieces suck. after embarrassing yourself trying to build that first leg on to the next leg and let's find that little t tab again and see if this one fits ah nope no it didn't all right let's try to get this around let's stick that on there all right stick it and it doesn't match amazing all right well yep gonna have to mess with that a bit probably use some green stuff take it off those pieces are terrible. There you have it. There is our gargant. We're going to be making the shipwrecker gargant, so here is a sneak peek on our next episode. How to build a kraken eater. Thank you for coming and spending time with us on Painter's Block. I hope that we could help you get rid of that thing that might be just stopping you from working on your next project. And I hope to see you again real soon. We'll be posting every other day. Come follow us, join us on YouTube, Reddit, and Instagram. Facebook too.